So you should have watched the video on the kinesiology model, where in that model, we start with the idea that we're all interested in performance. How fast we run a 5K, how fast we run a marathon, or how fast we can complete a 100-mile ride, or, or maybe performance is how well we're able to walk across the room or how much range of motion a particular joint may have. And my contention is that all of us in this department are interested in some way, shape, or form in performance, how well we do something. And in the kinesiology model, we move upwards in terms of what determines a performance. And the first element that um, I present is we talk about movements. And we have specific movements or change in space of things. And in this case, we're interested in human movement. And so what I'm going to do in this presentation is review some real basic structure, function, performance information that you'll want to know going forward in this class. So remember, this model continues to go upward. And um, these things all determine uh, the other. So up here we have uh, kinematics and we have some kinetics and, and central nervous system, things like that. Ultimately, we have a bunch of movements when we're dealing with human performance. And those movements ultimately uh, put to go, uh, are put together in a particular way and cause a performance. So some things that you're going to want to know in this class are things like movement terminology. And those terms are things like flexion, extension, rotations, internal rotation, external rotation, abduction, adduction, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to want to know movement terms. And if you don't know all your movement terms, it's good to go back and review those because we'll use movement terms uh, as we go forward. We we'll also want to know things about muscle, things about the structure of muscle, tendons, ligaments, cartilage, etc. All right, uh, we'll, we're, we'll also want to know that muscle uh, performs contractions. And later on in this model, I talk more about force velocity, uh, link tension relationship. But here we're going to want to know things like terms like concentric, eccentric, isometric, isokinetic, isotonic. These are all terms that you should be familiar with. Shortening of muscle, muscle tries to contract but gets longer. Muscle contracts with no change in length. Isokinetics is where the external force matches the internal force or really external torque matches the internal torque the way that we often test this. Or it's often talked about in terms of same velocity of movement. Any of those all work under isokinetics. And then isotonic is same tension, or typically we use this word when we are talking about lifting free weights or 20 pound weight or what have you. But you should be familiar uh, with all these uh, terms. And then some other things that you want to be familiar with as we'll use in this course are things that are related to reference frames. And why reference frames? Because a lot of these terms that were used, like flexion and extension, are determined about um, knowing things about anatomical position. And I'll talk about this later on in, in angular kinematics, that we need to know anatomical position versus what I refer to as word on the street position. Anatomical position the person standing forward with our palms facing forward. And from that position, we use that to define things like flexion and extension and internal and external rotations. 
without knowing an anatomical position, sometimes these uh, descriptors actually get lost a bit. Word on the street, we're typically standing with the palms uh, at the um, uh, inwards uh, facing uh, the thigh. And so we're going to want to know these positions. For movements, we're going to want to know our terminology to describe uh, movements. We're going to want to know things about muscle, uh, the structure of muscle, and we're ultimately when we're dealing with in vivo uh, description of movement where we're talking about muscle in the body, we need to know the muscle tendon unit. Uh, we need to know cartilage, ligaments, different types of contractions, and then we need to know some reference frame information, anatomical position, and word on the street uh, type position. All right, so that all falls under the movement. You would have taken a class on this, um, anatomical kinesiology, or uh, also known as an, uh, functional anatomy, either way. But this is all part of structure, function, and performance. We need to know the parts. We need to know what the parts do. And we need to know how well they do these functions. Okay, so that's a quick summary in, in terms of this part of the kinesiology model. Okay, thank you.